Okay, so yes, this is my second video that I'm releasing today, but it's because it answers a question that so many of you have asked me, is Starlink going to be able to help the people of Tonga? And we kind of have an answer. We know that Tonga is going to be without internet for at least a month. Communication is still extremely limited there. That's why Elon Musk tweeted yesterday, could people from Tonga let us know if it is important for SpaceX to send over Starlink terminals? So yay, Starlink will be able to help out after all. Well, actually it's more complicated than that. After Elon made that tweet, New Zealand politician, Dr. Shane Reddy sent this letter to Elon Musk. It says regarding Starlink access post volcanic eruption for Tonga, it has been brought to my attention that the recent cataclysmic underwater volcanic eruption had broken the underwater telecommunications link with Tonga. I am respectfully asking if you could see your way please to providing urgent Starlink internet communications to public officials and the good people of Tonga in this moment of need. Unfortunately, it only took a few hours for Elon Musk to respond, saying this is a hard thing for us to do right now as we don't have enough satellites with laser links and there are already geosats that serve the Tonga region. That's why I'm asking for clear communication. So some people are really confused about this. Does this mean that they can or can't help? It sounds like it is doable, but it will take a lot of extra efforts. And actually a reply to this tweet comes from Mike Puchol. I've actually interviewed him in this video where I talked to him about his Starlink satellite crazy map that he has. And he says with the current minimum elevation of 25 degrees, you cannot. He says if we drop the elevation of one of New Zealand's gateways to 15 degrees, coverage from multiple satellites could be possible. He also throws out another really interesting option. He says it might not be as immediate, but to have a gateway on a ship, station it so that it can act as a bridge between two satellites with each satellite using one of their two KA antennas for this purpose. Less throughput, but service would be available. And here's an illustration of what that could look like from Mike. So we know this communication is absolutely necessary to be restored. The SpaceX constellation, of course, is not complete, so it will be difficult to provide service to Tonga, but Elon is asking if it's necessary as current communication satellites should be able to provide service, but obviously that is not happening right now. So I'm thinking that SpaceX will try to assist, but that really still remains to be seen based off everything that I'm reading. And remember, just because they have about 2000 operational Starlink satellites right now, very few of those are the version two with the interlaser links. And that is what would really be needed to help in this situation. So some articles are saying that Elon Musk is peddling back from his offer. It doesn't sound like that's quite the case. I think that he's just trying to decide whether or not this is extremely urgent because it will be difficult, but it sounds like something that they can achieve. So I will try to keep you guys posted on this, but I just wanted to answer some of your questions on what we've learned so far, because it really was exciting at first to know that Elon Musk was offering the help of Starlink, but there are some logistics and considerations that make it quite difficult. Of course, the situation overall is extremely difficult. I actually live here in Salt Lake City, Utah, and we have one of the biggest Tongan populations in the entire country. So I know a lot of people here at my home right now are really devastated and affected by what is happening in Tonga right now. So this would be of great service if Starlink is able to assist. But like I said, we have yet to see if that's actually something they'll be able to do. Of course, thank you so much for tuning in to Ellie in Space. Want to keep you guys updated on all Starlink and SpaceX, Starship related news, all of the S's. Thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you soon. Bye.